Hi in this video we look at the mechanical aspect of induction motors. So single and three phase are pretty much similar in design and we would find the same things on it. Mounting, shaft, key, front end shield, front bearing, cooling fins, back bearing, back end shield, cooling fan, fan cover and nameplate. Those are the most basic things that we can inspect and just looking at um, the three phase motor that's a nameplate and you can see the base plate base uh, nameplate we've got the front end shield we've got the shaft the keyway the cooling fins we've got the cowling cover or the fan cover the fan is housed on the inside we've got the the connection box uh, for the electrical connections and then we can see the back there that's the cooling fan so that is your three phase motor and it's identifiable easily with the six studs this motor is also electrically tested in another video and here we have the single phase motor on the nameplate that shows single phase. There is the base, there is the nameplate, the shaft, the keyway. Again, the shaft, you have to turn it to see if it's straight, if it's wobbly, if it's tight. There's a front bearing, there's a back bearing, there's the front uh, end shield, the cooling fins, electrical connection box. We identify this motor with the capacitors, either two capacitors for cap run, cap start, or just cap start. There's the fan cover, there's the fan housed on the inside, and again we end with the nameplate. So we want to uh, almost open or take apart and look at the insides this is not how you will inspect but to show you what the design is so i've already taken the liberty of loosening some screws and stuff and just taking apart a single phase motor and because the design is so similar to three phase i thought that there's nothing much to see inside of a three phase motor but rather a single phase motor because of this uh, unique design with the starting so as you can see they have removed the whole back section where the centrifugal switch is and I'm going to remove the whole router to just show what, what the, it looks like on the inside. So in a three phase we would have obviously six wires for the three windings. In this case there's only two windings that run in the start. I'm looking currently and feeling what the mechanism is like for the centrifugal switch or centrifugal switch whichever way you want to call it that plate is pushed by that plastic mechanical disc that I just showed you on the router and that is where the switch is mounted at so if we have a look there further loosening the centrifugal switch there from the back in the plate put it one side and we can see the a unique design uh, designed ages ago and still used today we will take a closer deeper look at that I think we could just pull out the router and if you can look there that would be the front where the keyway is, is a bit of rust but that's still okay that's the front bearing so if this is never exposed obviously it's internal and so when we turn the shaft we can hear if the bearing is noisy and that's what we hear, listen for when we we turn the shaft so we first look if the shaft is straight if it turns freely and we also listen for noise in the front you can see there's a back bearing and then the switch also is not accessible you can see in this case it still looks brand new 
um, and the function is also good. So that function happens if, when the rotor turns. When that shaft is turning, that action that I just did would happen and it would pull the plate, the, 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 the round disc would be pulled into another direction and it would release the switch which is that mounted on that uh, silver plate. You can see those wires connected to the switch is going to the start winding. So that switch is in line and of course the capacitor is also mounted in line. There we can see clearly that that's a switch. So that disc would push against that. So in the when this motor is stationary, the disc pushes against that and the switch makes. So when the motor is standing still, not operational, that switch is closed. It only opens when the rotor turns. And to understand that more, you have to have some knowledge of the operation of a single phase motor. It's part of the starting circuit. Again, the just close into the switch, it's in a good condition. This is how you would do maintenance on it as well. You would just file that or replace the switch. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it helps.